Yo, this is a 27 inch 240 hertz gaming monitor. Eh? 280 hertz. My eyes just looking at your screen. 60 hertz. What is this 2014? I don't mean to be mean, but once you've seen what I've seen, hurts my eyes just looking at your screen. Who hurts ya? Why are you acting so mean? Who hurts ya? Emotional damage. Who hurts ya? Need to get some healing. So today we're reviewing the AOC 27 G4 CE, a 27 inch 280 hertz gaming monitor, and it's more affordable than you think. Hashtag cheap buy. Oh, I love the lyrics. Who hurts you? It's who hurt you. You Chinese, ma. That's hurt my feeling. Only one feeling. <laughs> so this AOC C27G4ZE is around 800 ringgit, which seems to be the price point that most brands are aiming for at the upper budget range. But with so many options out there, is this really the one you should buy? Let's take a closer look. So the overall design is pretty clean. It has a cool geometrically shaped plastic chassis in black with red accents. We also get a girthy, tiltable stand with a cable pass through on a pretty small hexagonal space saving base. It's stable, pompipit. What is pompipit? You ask me, I ask who? Am I Google? Do I look at Google? If you want more adjustability, just pop this cherry ring around the plastic cover to reveal the VESA compatible mount. Honestly, if I'm on a budget, I would rather pay less for a screen like this with a basic stand and use that price difference to buy a monitor arm that will hopefully last a couple of upgrades down the line. The I.O. ports are pretty basic. We get both HDMI and DisplayPort, but the 280Hz only work with DisplayPort. And hey, they threw in an audio jack, which is good if you want to use wired headphones. Specs wise, we've got a 27 inch 1080p curved VA panel with a 280Hz refresh rate and an advertised 0.3 millisecond MPRT response time as well as adaptive sync. VA panels in general are faster than IPS panels, so for people who want to squeeze every ounce of competitive advantage out of their gaming monitor, uh, then this would be great. I really enjoyed playing FPS titles like Valorant and Overwatch on this thing for the past couple of weeks. Also, because of that gentle curve of 1500R, you can sit back quite a bit especially when playing AAA titles or watching movies. Speaking of which, color accuracy here is pretty good not just for a VA panel, but monitors in general, but the viewing angle is slightly worse than IPS. On top of that, because this monitor uses VA, it has better contrast than most IPS panels, even with only 300 nits of peak brightness. Still, it's probably not ideal for HDR content. Screen uniformity though is pretty good, especially for a 27 inch curved panel. There are just a couple of things I wish this monitor would have. Uh, the first one would be that I prefer to have two HDMI ports instead of one HDMI, one display port, and they would need to be a HDMI 2.1 to support that 280 hertz refresh rate. Even though 2.0 is already good enough for most consoles. Secondly, USB-C would be great because I'm Type-C. No, because you would be able to charge your laptop and handheld console while you're gaming, which is great to keep a cleaner setup. I'm just nitpicking at this point. If you have a 750 ringgit budget, then you should probably prioritize other features like the screen quality. Actually, no, 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 no. We shouldn't be settling because uh, at this price point, it's very competitive and they should just be throwing the kitchen sink at us to make our money. To recap, here are the pros, mess, and cons of the AOC C27G4ZE. I give this monitor a hashtag cheap buy for everybody else but not me because I'm a bangsawan whose eyes are used to 4K. 8 out of 10. Moral of the story, don't spoil your eyes with 4K monitors. It's like bubo, you know? If nasi jadi bubo, you cannot turn it back to nasi. Good eh? Good, eh? In conclusion, if you're on a tight budget, then you should be smart with your money and pay for only what you absolutely need. Uh, this monitor is a gaming monitor first before anything else, even though the color accuracy is still pretty good for doing work like video editing and stuff like that. If you want to prioritize editing videos, I would go for a higher resolution screen and with a slightly lower refresh rate, like maybe 180 hertz or 140 hertz, which is probably available at the same price point. For gaming though, nothing beats a curved screen if you can be in the right range in front of it. It's just a little bit more immersive because your peripheral vision will be encapsulated by these wonderful worlds that you are adventuring in. So yeah, this is a good option at 700 plus bucks, almost 800 
Pick it up if you're interested. I approve. If you thought this video is helpful, don't forget to like and share. Leave a comment down below if you have any questions regarding this monitor and I'll try my best to reply to you. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit that notification bell to see more content like this. And follow us on Facebook, TikTok, and Instagram to see more shenanigans from the Mob House crew. Again, my name is Bang Sawan Shane, and I will see you on the streets. Because if you belong to the streets,